proceed. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Uh, the witness is being brought in. Thank you. Welcome back, Mr. Sambu. I hope you have had some lunch. Yes, I did. And may I remind you that you're still on the road? Mr. Sambu, I'm going to tell you about the Antibiru Wadbi. We have a few more topics to go. I'm going to tell you about the Antibiru Wadbi. I'm going to tell you about the Antibiru Wadbi. So far, Lunch must have been very good. Are we okay? Yes, sir. Um, so far, we have covered the following violations. The, 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 the torture of uh, the Farafenya attackers. Of which you were aware and did not do anything there to stop it other than to speak to the Director General as you claim. And uh, the other one is the torture of uh, the journalist who made allegations against Sambaba, mistaken allegations. And that was Musa Sise and sorry, Musa Serikan and Madi Sise. Uh, we've also dealt with the Freedom Newspaper Saga. And we have dealt with the Nur Cham issue. Uh, the, those who are uh, arrested, uh, tortured, uh, and, and, uh, and at, at, the, at, uh, at the NIA headquarters, including Wasa Kamara, Tamsir Jase, uh, Yaya Dabo, Bunja Dabo, and others. And the arrest and torture of Mariam Dentin, Ramzi Adiab, and others. Arrest bo hamne admitted to technical Mariam Dentin, ak Ramzi Adiab, ak nyanen. Okay, so we've dealt with all this. Ye malim ni yep na kwata nyanen ko. Okay, now we have to deal with the disappearances, as you called it. Legi nang ni nyo si hinga hamne de nyo jiki jiki wakir kumning ko wahe. The floor is yours. Okay. Uh, it comes on. It comes on. The issue of this disappearance, especially for my late friend, 
was the blackest incident in my tenure as the year. I convinced Daba to move over from the police to the NIA. NSS. When Mao had Daba moved over to the police, did you NSS? In August 1988. Very August 1988. The then Nigerian technical advisor. And then King Ahmed Modan yet the chief delegate of Nigeria. Recommended that uh, the police special branch and the NSS be integrated. And I was assigned to go and convince the boys at the police to come over. Everybody came except Daba. Yep, no, Bem des Daba. And one Mr. Cham. Can you come here, Mr. Cham? So over a weekend I went to the police. In Jeff Telbis Bo Ibi, Madame Si Police. I spoke to him. He said, okay, you'll think over it. By morning. On the Monday, I went back to the police. And convinced him to come with me to State House. To discuss with then director of Pajalo. And we managed to talk him into coming over. Chile ni watana mumbe yobo kala na pumuni pumuni yobo kasi. So he moved over. So we bim to 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 go say. This obviously the service conditions were better. He was a sergeant. He was given a better grade. Because he was a very good field operator. And we move on. You continue. When the take, the military take over, Jamano bin Jafe Kulita came. The NIA was created. Jamano bin Jafe Kulita came. The NIA was created. And uh, people like Marena were transferred. Men like Ki Marena, Chilean Kodal, Dito Halfufu. And I also came over. I was I was integrated from the Minister of Works. My time in Jamano bin Jafe Kulita, Chilean Mabo, and the Minister of Work. And we met again. You do let us say what? And our bond continued, of course. So in He respected me very much. He called me my boss. As director of administration and finance, I was responsible for many, many administrative matters. I organized training sessions. Programs. I did the lean programs, so I made sure. With his name, he was included in all the groups that traveled to Nigeria. No book is included in the company. You can name Nigeria, Germany, Germany, Libya, Libya, Morocco. Ma at Morocco, he got very good training. I'm not going to move on the field. He did. Obviously, he rose. Very quickly. 
That's why he built his, forged his, his personal relationship with the then president, Jame. I left at some time. Went to the foreign service. And went to the Ministry of Health. Ministry we say to IEC. During that time, he became DG. He would call me, my boss. my my boss. What do I do in this case? What do I do in this case? When I went to the UK, I went do my masters. Put the flux of my macama masters. Ambaba left. Daba Chilabai. Sambaba left. Ambaba, Sambaba Chilabai. So he was grooming me for me to take over. Morandi, Yarna Puman Jill. But I said I was going to study. Why not Chilako and the commander might then pull Yokus Manjanga? Before I came back, while I knew, I did not took over from him. Chilen Falmat Marena. When I called one day, mm -hmm. DG's office, I got Marena. I said, my boss, I said, yes. My boss, what are you doing out there up till now? I said, I have not finished yet, I'm coming. I said, ah, I'm the one sitting here, the Sambaba has gone. said, but hurry up and come. You know, we don't, people like me don't sit behind desks. I'm a groundsman. I said, okay, it's all right, don't worry. When I came back, I for some reason or another, I was transferred to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And I heard from Nigeria, I heard he had also been removed. And taken to Base as commissioner. Did I think it's be it between that time he came back? I don't know what happened. He, he was was there. In the world. I was at the IEC. Woman, my next IEC. Until I had, I was called to State House to go and take over from. Madam State House, put by DJ In March 2006. very March, atum 2006. Let me ask you this. You were called to State House. Then you State House. And told that your friend has been arrested. And you are asked to take his job. How did you feel when you got this news? Obviously, I asked what happened. I was told he was detained. He said, what happened? He said, there was an attempted coup. Oh, yeah? Said, yes, and he is involved. He said, oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I went to the SG's office. And uh, as you asked me previously, he said there are instructions for you to go and take over there. And here is your letter. And is a letter. Immediate effect. I went. But I didn't you still back. haven't said how you felt. Sorry, Sorry I over, 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 over. 
I was shocked. I'm on Nana Car. Because I, I knew Marena. But come on now, Marena. I don't think I would have believed that he would be involved in such a thing. So at this stage you thought that must have been a lie? Well, I, I definitely did not think anything because I didn't know anything about the coup. Well, well, if you believed at that time that he wouldn't be involved in a coup, that you must have therefore believed that the allegation against him must have been false. Yes, I believed that he would be involved in a coup. Well, but yet still you, you took the job. Yes, I took the job. Wow, the majority gave me. In spite of everything. Lead counsel. I have told you numerous times and occasions. Analysis on your body. Very yeah, jammy. A very yeah, jammy. One has very little space to maneuver. You never need to am for much. I am director of operations in the IEC. I have, phone, I have a phone call to go and answer to the state house. I go, I sit down, the SG calls me into his office. He says, boss says, I should tell you this. Wait for your letter. You could say no. Yes. Yes. Yes, at a risk and peril. But, but, but you have struggled to give me an example of a person who refused Yajame's job or refused his unlawful order and something wrong happened to him. You yeah. haven't given me an example. I, I don't remember. I don't remember. Because there, there aren't any or many. There. In 2013 or 14. In 2014, the former minister for local government and lands. With whom I was in exile in Senegal. In 2014, in 2014, in 2014, in was appointed minister. Then called foreign minister. He didn't want it. Bugutonko. And he went to the vice president then, I said to Njai Sidi. Then see vice president Bijamano Joji, I said to Njai Sidi. Discussed the issue. Tankok mom. But he was told point blank that this is an order. And I think he was asked to swear there, swear in there. See, four full and cost and a muat, what he gave it. Uh, a few weeks later, he ran away and went to Senegal. I bet you I got now to let them Senegal. He did not want. The Bugutan. Clearly, he did not want it. Hello, learn and a Bugukon. He ran away. Muda ran away. Those who wanted it stayed. Nico Bugan and Rom, then yes. Yes. Well, yes. I am trained. Then, my younger. And I was once a deputy to that, to the director general. If I have the opportunity, why not give it a try? So you wanted the job? I wouldn't say no. Do you what did it? So in spite of all the things that you know to have surrounded that job, you put yourself in it, Valentine on foot in Julia. No. You, you, you knew what it entailed. You, you come on gonna leave for a John la. So John did a la matter. Did, 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 did. <laughs> Man have no place, boo. I knew that place, that place. When you go Jagara, then it was after this. Months few months later after. Laugh at them. That's the time I went there. I work with some about is it of where it is. And, and even during that time, at the very early years of the NIA, 
torture and falsification of evidence prevailed. He said at the very beginning, I went to the NIA about six to seven months after it was established. That was 1995. That was 1995. Four. 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 Ninety four. Ninety four. July ninety four. Four. Ninety four. Ninety four. And few years down the line, the NIA developed a reputation of being a torture state. Four. 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 Within my limits, I did what I could. I told some of our quiet right. Quite clearly. Quite clearly. That this thing is not acceptable. Uh, we can understand that. He told me I was a coward. But the difficulty I have. You are in the outside. And you know that what was happening at the NIA was not acceptable. Yet you accepted to come and lead it. In spite of your knowledge that what was happening there was not acceptable. Not from the outside, from the inside. That is even worse. But the fact of the matter is here you were uh, you are uh, head of operations at the IEC. You are now being brought to come and accept a job which you are now being brought to come and accept a job which you believe was unacceptable. You said it was unacceptable. What was going on? I didn't say that. Well, you just told us that what was happening at the NIA was unacceptable. When I went in there and saw what was happening. No, but even before you went there for your third stint. Second. Well, third stint in the intelligence. Second stint at NIA. You knew that what was going on in there was unacceptable. You knew that as early as 1996. And you believe that that was unacceptable. Yet you accepted to lead that institution which was doing work that was unacceptable. Changes can happen from within. We check, we check. I thought I could do something. Oh, you thought Yajame has suddenly metamorphosed from being Machiavellian to being benign and and easily convinced by a Harisambo. I don't know. I have a training. But Mr. Sambo, isn't it correct that you knew fully well at that time in 2006 that Yaya Jame had become a fully fledged dictator? That Yaya Jame would not listen to you? You knew, you knew that, didn't you? Why, you have a job in 1996, 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 you he would apply them or accept them or <coughs> not. I took my advice on that But Mr. Sambu, the truth is you would tailor your advice to him on the basis of his mood. Why, Mr. Sambu, I would say that you 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 would say that you
So you don't try to convince him? If he feels like discussing it, he does. Once on a while, you sit down. But tell us in all honesty, did you really think at that time in 2006 that really Yaya Jami would listen to you? We have your statement. In 2006, you have detailed catalog extensively your relationship with Yaya Jami. You knew at Gaya that time that Yaya Jami was going to be the one who 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 was going to be but the fact of the matter is, you knew exactly what you were getting yourself into. You went into it with your eyes wide open. No, I wouldn't accept that. Yes, I told lead counsel yesterday, I asked him, I said, is lead counsel trying to force this thing down my throat? He said, no, 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 I'm not saying it that way. But uh, lead counsel is one thing to make me accept and believe that everything about Yaya Jame was evil and 100 percent. Yaya Jame was a human being and fallible or like everybody else. He had his bad sides and that, those are the ones I mentioned. I haven't said anything good about Yaya Jame because there's no need. This is not the, this is not the forum. Yes, but uh, the question really is it's not about Yaya Jame. The question is about you. The yeah. question is, you accepted that job knowing fully well what awaited you. Uh, if it was the first time you didn't know the NIA was a torture chamber, you can have that excuse, oh, I didn't know this is what I was going to find there. But you knew fully well. You were Deputy Director General before. It was a torture chamber. You knew fully well that you would be asked to preside over the torture of Gambians. You knew that, didn't you? So, if you can have a lot of people who are not able to do it, they will be able to do it. 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 I started off with institutional reforms when I went into the In fact, from day one, you presided over the commencement of this panel that was going to carry out the torture of Gambians from day one. That was day one. True or false? I told counsel that I did not know that that was what they were doing there. But, 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 but this is the and issue. You suddenly the that, that was not it. Just a moment, but you suddenly believe that the leopard has changed its spots? Well, don't leopard change their spots, no? <laughs> Do they? I don't know. Well, so you had no expectation that Jami had changed? It comes out. I thought and I believed I could play a role. But, but here you are. <laughs> yes, I know you knew you would play a role, but here you are. Even your friend, you who you helped or you convinced to bring into the service, huh? you have seen that he's been done in. They did him in. You did not believe the accusation against him one bit. Yet you were happy and contented to take over his position, knowing fully well what lay ahead. Well, legi yo yangi ni sahari tangi ni ko ko hamne orna la hamga nakalam mel nujel ko dugal ko nit la ko hamne ring ko dugal chimbir mo hamne hamul chidara chining ko wahe legi na wai tera nujel ni ko cha palasam ga kontan pur utu ko palasam te hamon galang faafeka. It is not a matter of being happy and contented. They could have been contented. Please, please, please. At Doyle, okay? No. 
did it. You did not take it under protest, did you? Banco jail day banyo lode. I took it willingly. Damako jail si Adam go. Well, I guess that answers the question. So I will just move on. Uh, I will just move on. Lead uh, council will allow me to move on, or lead council will move on. You are talking about. No, we will all move on to something else. Got it. Well, the answer I believe is very is quite clear. You, you, I told you, you, you took it uh, voluntarily. Now you said you take it willfully. So we will proceed. Now let's see what happened to Daba. Daba. He told us as far as his arrest. As per what I heard. Yes. Wow. A few days into my taking office at the NIA. He was brought in. Proceed, proceed. Proceed, please. He was brought in to hand over. Escorted by the late Tumbul Tamba and Musa Jame. And other soldiers. Again, any soldier. There was no written handing over. So it's a formal affair about 10 15 minutes. He said, My boss. Yes. My boss. Said, so I heard you are the one who took over from here. I, said, I, am, said, I am relieved that you took over. Good luck. Please remember my family. Mariama and the children. Mariama Akare. I said okay. Manako wow. Left and they left. I was whisked away. Nyoboko. It was the last time I saw him. Boma Bujentari Jamana Boham the Nikis Nako. Last time I heard about him. Wala Madigu. Last time you heard from him. Yes. From not about him. From Indeed, from him. And even soon after that, you heard about him. About him. Tell us about it. One morning, Enesuba, I had a phone call from the then Chief of Defence Staff, Langtombong Tamba. I had a telephone call from the Chief of Defence Staff, Langtombong Tamba, Chief of Armed Forces. Inviting me to a meeting of service chiefs. Uh, Chief of Defense Staff of the National Army. Chief of Defense Staff Gambia National Army. Kijite Soldari. Myself, the acting DG NIA. And the Inspector General of Police, Usman Sonko. Where was the meeting to be held? Here with me at the office of the Inspector General of Police. Office Inspector General of Police be. And I drove my car and went. And uh, we met. And then Who did you find at, uh, at the meeting? The meeting be. I met with Langtombonga. Uh, Langtombong Tamba. The Inspector General of Police. Police. Mr. Samu, kindly speak up or drink, draw the microphone. The Inspector General of Police. Yeah. Inspector General of Police. Be. And Ak. Captain Tumbul Tamba. Ak. Captain Tumbul Tamba. The late. The late. Yeah. And uh, at the meeting. The meeting. Be. Tumbul Tamba raised, uh, rose up. Yeah, Tumbul Tamba jok taho. And uh, informed us in the meeting that uh, he had news to break to us. That five persons, uh, 
That would not happen in the Gambia of Babylon Mansa that we all knew and talked about. I also asked myself. Then you know how it would say heads would roll. I was I also asked myself that question, it cancel. There where I sat, I was not thinking of Marina. ignore_time_segment_in_scoring
what would happen to me? That my my that But but my, that's precisely my issue. Yeah, here. Yes, um, uh, uh, just let, just a moment. Let, let just counsel. A moment. Just you a ask moment. Me, this is very serious. Just a moment. Yes, I know you had this position. That's what you said you had. Yet you went along with this approach of informing the public before you informed the uh, Jame. Because what is in fact now double jeopardy? Yeah. Or, 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 or maybe in fact a double whammy. Linga halaf sa bopo ni yep tera wot an langa chi yunge ka yegal askan wi dor ko yegal ya ya jammi. But not only that, you had first failed to detect this huge uh, intelligence issue. That's right. And then you having failed to do that, you chose to inform the public before you informed the ya ya That is a little bit yes. unbelievable. Uh, Lead council. Lead council. Yeah, where I sat. Chief of my top of. I had what I could call Beleron. I could call Beleron. I was thinking of myself. What would happen? Yes, but then, thinking about yourself, you would have self preserved. That is, okay, you know what? I have to rush and tell my boss. Mm. Before informing the public. But there you were, uh, you you agreed to to commit a second violation. Why? That is to inform the public before you inform Jamie. Is it to say today? Hey, is it to say today? Anyway, uh, and the other irony, Mr. Sambu, is that the person who came to inform you came from State House. Exactly so. No, Exactly so. Did you ask him whether he had informed Jamie? In that, at that moment, I didn't have, I didn't, I lost my thinking capacity. I had lost my thinking capacity. And a third one is, why you? Why come to you three? You are not responsible. For those people, after all, they were detained where? At mile two prisons. Maximum security. Why you? I cannot answer that question. Another question. You had a representative at mile two prison. Didn't the, you? NIA two prison. the NIA always had representatives at mile two prison. NIA, NIA and military intelligence they had representatives at mile two prison. Except if you tell us that David Coley is lying. Right. But the NIA up to today. The NIA has representatives at mile two prison. Why NIA better than when they tell you they are not going to travel mile two prison? You don't what? Remember. Well, fat le ku mako. I don't remember that aspect, or that part of what you are saying. Fat le ku mabo bungawa he. Did you ask? Did you interrogate the information that was given? Did you ask any questions? I just sat there in bewilderment. How about your friends, your colleagues? Did they ask any questions? Well, they asked him what happened, how it happened. And he narrated. Did he say where the vehicles were, where the somersaulted vehicles are? Yes, he said it was in, some, in Funye. 
ignore_time_segment_in_scoring That is what it turned out to be later when I found out. Mujee gina kumula mujee neka. Mr. Sambo. Did your colleagues know that uh, these five individuals were executed unlawfully by the government of the Gambia? Mr. Sambo, ndax say nawla yoy sa nata nga yoy nga xamna ñom nga fa nekkal lon xam nañ ni juroomi nit ni nguur gi dañ leen ray ci ay anam yo xamne am ak luwa ñoo ko mëna waxe ci olof nga baral ma please go ahead li luñ togal ba pare this is something all that they already cooked yeka ñu ñu ñep ñu lekk and this is out and we all this did out for all of us to consume yes including me I will not get myself out of it. I was in there. But the thing is, you, you extricated yourself from the cooking. Of course. You only ate it, you only consumed it and digested it. I had no knowledge of anything. Come on, say, Dara. 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 Akbar will be. Dara. This will be the Bible. <coughs> First and Holy Communion. We have seen people swear well, here, Mr. Sambo. You, you have. You see it a lot of time, but I am doing it for myself. My kids and my family. My personal reputation as a true Christian. Tell me honestly, yes. did you have a suspicion that your colleagues in fact participated in the cooking, as you call it? Osman Sonko would intermittently also go and attend the sessions. Osman Sonko would go and attend the sessions. But equally, Harry Sambu would meet with the Ajame or receive reports from Haida, the chairman of the commission of the panel, and would even occasionally go to the panel. So you are Bear all in the same boat. Bear with me, please. In the same kitchen. Bear with me. You are not allowing me to finish what I'm saying or explain myself. I can interject now and again and uh, put propositions. I it had appears you are all in the same kitchen. I had a feeling. That's what you say. I am not an owl. Not involved. Oblivious of the whole thing. What are your other reasons for suggesting that your colleagues knew what was happening? I don't know. I, I have a feeling they 
they wouldn't have trusted me 100 percent to in get involved along with them in such things. Would it surprise you to also note that Lam Tombong had the same feeling? That this thing was cooked up between the NIA and the police and state house and uh, <laughs> he wouldn't know anything about it? <laughs> you laughing, Mr. Sam. That was funny. <laughs> but we had Lang Tombong sit here and said he was never tortured. Why didn't I see Lang Tombong Tong if he was in the it out? Yes. Mr. Sam, well, it's his in... It's his he victimization. He if he who feels it knows it refuses to say it, we, we let it fly. This is, this is a platform for victims who talk about their own victimization. Yeah. If he chooses to pass on that, yeah. we can't cross-examine him about his own torture. So we just let it pass. But my, a, part, a, a bit of my statement was read to him, which he flatly refused, rejected. Which one? The one the lead council read him here, that Mr. Harris Samu wrote part, a part of his statement is this and this and this. Yes, that, uh, that uh, yeah. torture was the modus operandi. Yeah, Why did you raise that point? No, to show you that. Uh, <laughs> Tell us, we are listening. He didn't say the truth. He knows it. So you were telling the commission that Lang Tombong lied. Lieutenant General, CDS of the Gambia National Army, he lied before the commission. That's what you're telling us. Lieutenant General, CDS, Mijite or Solbari, the Fafen Fiji Kanam Commission. Your answer, please. I did not believe that part of his story. Gumu Mawal Bufti Akado Mimwa. Are you also suggesting equally that you do not believe the suggestion that? He was not aware of the plan to disappear Dava Mariana and four others. That's not true. All do they go? Bah, and the logic of it, ne, mom, ye go pay him. Inga hamle nyun kodonde pulir Dava Mariana at yene yene team anda. That's not true. Wa hudega la wa. That's what you said. Oh, that's what I said. In wala hudega. Who is lying? And Tom Wong didn't say the truth. Are you therefore suggesting that he participated in the cooking and in the cover-up? Well, but what is your evidence for suggesting that he participated in the cooking? Or the cook-up? been so entangled in it, neck, neck deep from the beginning. Is this based on speculation or evidence? See him going in and out of uh, state house and NIA with the detainees and all that stuff. What conclusion else would you draw? Gis ko nim kumbe simbir mi di andak nim gaham nim yomlen japu di gante iti kazo yi agmail tu but the same thing could be said about you. Uh, I'm talking about myself. No, but he did A, B, C, and D. You said he was therefore involved neck deep. You also did A, B, C, and D. Were you also involved neck deep? Somebody else might think I'm not deep, yes, I wouldn't think so myself. So you, you deny being involved in the cook-up? I deny a hundred percent. We deny a hundred percent. I was not aware 
They didn't ask me. But you were involved 100% in the cover-up. If sitting in the IG's office and complying with the suggestion to write this uh, uh, press statement and then going to Echi to inform him is that it is clearly you are here endorsing a statement about which you have no information why mr sam yangi to bere bo xamne yangi wiral kaddu bo xamne yow amul ci ben xibar ci bir momu the only information i had what was what to multama said but i felt here say kokan bul yo here say kokan bul ci commission bi lañ ko wara waxe dega bi fi lañ ko waxe man dina wax sama boss bokuma how much dara the truth must be told here in the commission i was not part of it duma ko nangul de noy and i will never accept it Uh, but that story, that cover-up, was, as you said, a cock and bull story. It was a plain lie. Why you? Did you want me to bear with the middle of our family? Family real. I'm wholeheartedly agreeing with the lead counsel. And then I think you want me to lead counsel? That it was a lie. That it was a lie. The family. The family. Why did you agree to go ahead with a statement? feeding the gambian public facts of such an important issue without having an iota of evidence that what was being said was in fact true lan mo wara tax nga nango and ci jël xibar bo xamne da ngeen koy parel jël ko jebal ko wa gambia pour ñu wuna gom li nga xamne mom ngay wax te fekk or na len ni amu ben pepp degg bo xamne mo ci nek i think i wrote something in the response to the na amna luma bind ci tontu bo 0.5 if not 0.5 yes no uh, 0.5 can lead council please quote me uh, you said what i stated in my original statement on pages 4 and 5 is exactly what happened i only learned about the escape story in the office of usman sonko the then inspector general of police i was fast asleep at home when things happened the previous night and i state this with a very clean conscience as a true christian at that very moment i had no reason to believe tumbul tamba's story not, and thus complied not to believe is yes. it not i had believe. no reason not to believe not to believe tumbul tamba's story and thus complied with the suggestion to write the press statement the element of concealment did not occur to me then that is what you say yes. but that is not in fact the case yes. uh, Council, did he say that in a supplementary statement or what supplementary why is this coming in now supplementary statement oh, supplementary okay yes Thank supplementary you. statement yes but you equally had no reason to believe that story but here we are talking about concealment yes you know fair way if no bull this is why but the question i asked was Why did you agree to give your consent to a story which you had no reason to believe was true? And le ma la te moy lan mo tax nga nango joxe sa cadeau and ci xibar bo xamne ñu ko feñal te fekk xamulo ci dara At that given time he jamono bobu ya in a situation of well semi state of emergency semi state of emergency ñu won ci jamono bo xamne ni jamono bo waago arrested left right and center ni ñi ñu ngi nay japp jamo ak ndeyor and uh, you wouldn't know who would come next e xamulo kam lañuy jappat complying or not complying if you don't comply you simply be denounced to be on the other side nangu ya nyaka nangu bo nangu wute rek nga nek ci benen bo sam were you not afraid were you not afraid 
to go out there and publicly say something that may eventually turn out to be untrue and be on the wrong side of Yaya Jami? we're about to go to Yaya Jame and inform him. Ning ma ko wahe. As I was told, let's go and tell the. So when we hear about the name of Khalifa, we be pare. We are not hardly here. We just must have heard that. If you tell the leader already, that's time you don't get for it. No modern situation. What a film you guys are going to watch, Iko. Big council. What are the situation? It comes with, I told you the situation. I, have, I don't have a second version. I'm on my Benin Nyari board. What are the feelings over here? Lima ham la la wa. I told you it's here where you know, stay. Lima ham la la wa. What I know is what I'm around you. I can't. There isn't anything else. The question is, are we just trying to understand the circumstances that understand prevailed? Lingkungan lah cerak mahu yang nunding buka hamil dia awak si anak lingkungan hamil nun lebih ridon dah. Ayah. So you guys issued a statement. Yes, we did. Lagi nang yang jauh hebat. You did not verify the facts as true. Saya tu lagi nang guess tu pur ham dah hebat bila galau wala did. Apart from talking to him there where he was and him saying that this is narrating the story as he she narrated. No. You, you did not verify the facts as true. I personally didn't. Obviously, you had agents all over the country, didn't you? True or false? Yes. Well, but at that moment, lead council, I'm telling you about the meeting there in Islam Sonko's yes, office. But, but, but and from there, please, 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 from there, we drove into our cars and went straight to State House to talk to Echi. There was no space about talking to but, but, but you were, in fact, at the right place. You were, you were at the Gambia Police Headquarters. The police would have a station everywhere in the country. Police, am The NIA had representatives all over the country. The, the army had barracks almost everywhere. Soldat, And these. Three security heads are sitting down. And they were fed a story. And nobody thought it fit to call any single representative to verify this information. The first thing you would want to do is to have the NIA version of things. You are prepared to accept it hook, line, and sinker. Did council's proposal or suggestion would have come subsequently after having seen Echi? Did council come to you? Then you can talk, go back to your office and call and give instructions to do this follow-up, as you are saying. But there where we were, there was a time factor. Okay. Information as per intelligence, the delay in information and in transmitting of intelligence can be termed as concealment and you can be in trouble. Tadel ko kami ni tadel ni kuchi biri sekar walikarange mana ini ko giserek agno botulah teh jamanu bo munda am aja fe jafe. So as per the suggestion of the chief of defence staff there, well the three of us, it would have been more appropriate to go, and that's what we did, and I followed. We had to go. It was when I reached my office, 
that it become began it began occurring to me what was happening was Monday. Was Monday what? <laughs> How, 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 how did this escape me? How did it elapse? How, 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 how did it occur? Nakala lireche, chisuma lafan, nakala mkewe. You tell us. Why you? I didn't have the answers there. I don't want to talk to you. But isn't it really that this was a case uh, wherein all three of you knew, even if you did not participate, you knew that here you were cooking up a cock and bull story to be fed to the people. None of you, none of you believed that story one bit. Please go ahead. When we went to state house at Cobra, they start thinking what I believed them. I believed Tumbul. I had no cause not to believe him. I have said it. After the statement was written, what did you do? The IGP dispatched it. IGP, which is the court of So the public was informed before you are jammy. So you are not there. You are not there. That is the unbelievable part. I am not there. 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 Yeah, you know what you said earlier, the first thing you opened your mouth on this, you said we were to write a statement in consultation with Yaya Jame. They had telephone, the, the direct lines with him, I didn't. <laughs> Precisely the point. I don't know. Precisely the point. Yaya Jame was being consulted. This is not about Yaya Jame not knowing or having to go to State House to inform him. This was about Yaya Jame and the security chiefs sitting together, hunkering down and fabricating a statement to misinform the Gambian people in order to cover up the dirty deed of this execution. That yeah. is what happened. That is what happened. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you fully. In Thank fact, you very much. In fact, fleet council, we are talking about you are talking about execution. It did not even occur to me that there was like an execution that at that given moment, at that period of time, I did not. How? 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 I, I don't have the evidence that you were aware of the execution. Mm -hmm. But what I am putting to you is that that meeting was not a meeting in which you were doing things in isolation from Yaya Jame. Of course, This yes. was a meeting in which everything was done in lock, step, and barrel with Yaya Jame. I agree with you fully. So he was at State House dictating what was happening at the police headquarters. Rightly so. So he was, in fact, the chief cook in that lie of a porridge that you fed the Gambian people. I agree. So it was not that you guys were doing things in isolation to go and inform Yaya Jame later. He knew exactly what was going on. He was dictating things. May I please corroborate what lead council is saying? Just adopt it as your way. Thank you. Yes. So this whole suggestion that Yaya Jame was at State House, he didn't know what was going on, we were to go and inform him later, was just part of the cover-up. masquerade. It was a masquerade. You could have told us much earlier, Mr. Sam, no, we are no, and save us all this are, time. We are heading to it. We are heading to it. You need to need the details. I will give you the details that I know. I'm telling you now. If we did not go, 
no, no, through no. the window to get that. No, 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 no. Lead Would council be? knows. I have assured lead council since yesterday that I will come here and tell you all that I know. I will not waste the time of this commission. Please. Lead council will gather on our Nikki Demba. They do not protect. Mama will be protected. So when Lang Tombong Tamba said that. Uh, State House did not know anything about it. You guys had to inform the president. Was he truthful? I don't think the so, no. Langton Montamba, Wahene, is it Tumultamba? Langton. Langton Montamba, Bim Wahene, State House, Yogul Yehel, Fongan Dem Yegal Lin, Konda Luldigal. It's not true. Did you eventually go to State House? We did. We were near Nadim State House. Why did you have to go to State House? Not again, them State House. That was as per the suggestion of Langtombo. Langtombo. Was it to go and show your heroic report, the concoction that you guys made that was to be fed to the Gambian people? No, more than them want to send Mungen demon wani ya ya jami wani ko sen jambar ya ni linga bu gonde ñu fen fen nañ ko mu ngi ni ci kay bi lit consul doesn't accept i think so but i will say i think so yes lit consul do na ngon lima fok kon nak waw that was the truth that is what you did that was the truth and that is what you did do mo don deug ci te lo lañ def so it was not to go and inform ya ya jami that there was an accident and uh, five Detainees escaped. Yes, it was not. One for them, Hamalia, I am an accident. Law and Boham Nerek, I'm not your minute. You have no unity in Richelling. So, in effect, as at the time this statement was being written, you all knew that the Ajami had no facts about this so called escape than all of you did. Man, how long? Jamano, you can't don't be like a bob, Hamon Gemi, Yajami. I didn't know. I have, I have told you, I didn't know. And I will still maintain that. I was kept in the dark. Sing Bugon, Bundongo be a governor of Malaka Cholo. Sing Bugon, bring you son. Then I'm much more. You want to talk about it. Boy, I feel the Nila de Vede, Lady Ning, Lily Ling, Blank Bugadef. When you are my Jayavi Bandi. One Nongola, you know, I know that sweet nonsense, then call it a new Yegal, Yegalante. Could you make a list of strategy? You have Nakala. Before you think of being a cardu. Kena chini ni kama mmoja na kama ndoa wa kina kwa la kina kama ni digital kwa wa dafu niko wa dafu ni kwa na kado de wa dafu la of course there was an agreement there was an agreement to cover up wa amna nangu kwa wa hamne yeye nip nangu kwa wana kwa wana kwa pumu nobody gavi and that agreement was to inform the public that the security chiefs tangu nangu kwa wa bomo ya purhamal bolo mine was telling them that this is what was happened and that they would inform the president. But that speech was even partly dictated by the president. Was it not the case? The president was telling the president that he was telling the president the element of covering up wouldn't come to me to me at that point because I was not aware. I didn't know. Even they were covering up. I was informing. So, I felt the Bugini, I felt the hell on a paper, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. But, Mr. Sambu, there were two cover-ups. Mr. Sambu, I had two cover-ups. The first cover-up was what actually happened. I had to say, what happened to me? What happened to me? These people escaped or whether they were executed? I had to say, what happened to me? What happened to me? So that story, the story of the escape is the first cover-up. You agree? Please come up with the second one and let's see. And the second cover-up was your agreement to inform or to suggest that uh, this is the story of what has happened. We are now going to the president to inform him about what has happened. Mm -hmm. And the second cover-up was the one that you said 
the statement was worked together in consultation with the president. <laughs> First cover of the man, how much is there? First cover of the man, how much is there? First cover of the man, how much is there? Second cover of the man, because participate now. The underline of the union is three blind mice. No, 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 no. Three <laughs> wide open mice. <laughs> or three wide open cats. Eight wide open cats. Lead counsel, you will excuse me. The second cover up, you are part of it. The second cover up, I was part of it. I agree. The no, first cover up, no. no. But, but you see, the second cover up became necessary because there was a first cover up which you had to be aware of. I didn't know anything about it. I, you, I, I will tell you, I swear to God, if I knew that this was the case and I was involved in it from the onset, I will agree and own up to, to my, 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 my sins. I say yes. In fact, sorry. In fact, isn't that the reason why when you went to state house, yeah, I mean, looked at you as fools? Yes. Well, was he already knew? He, he asked us, what are you three doing here at the same time? What do you want? And again, the same Tumbul was there. <laughs> then then he he knew what? nothing and explaining to the president. He told his eyes red, red, red and looked at us like this. Hey, you fools, what are you doing here? <laughs> I, I see, well, there where I sat, I couldn't tell you what I felt. I'm not a beer woman, I'm not a beer tenure. I will not tell a lie. I will never tell a lie. So, so, Mr. Sambo, 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 Mr. You can look at it. Can't And read it out loud for the commission. commission mm. Paragraph 15. Ah, okay. At State House, then the State House. At State House, then President Jame, President Jame, received us very coldly. Asking what all three of us wanted to see him for. Simultaneously together with the captain. And the captain. It was then that Tumbul Tamba. Narrated the same story. He had earlier on told us at the police headquarters. Upon reading this. His Excellency went basek. Rolled his eyes red and called us a bunch of fools. After ranting at us, His Excellency gave instructions that everything should be done to find the fugitives and bring them back to book. Patrols should be reinforced. Patrol be there and all border posts alerted. Then he sent us packing. You wrote this yourself, didn't you? Yes, that's my statement. But isn't it shocking that you had to go and inform the president of which he has directed and dictated you to write. For oh, this first statement was written still as part of the cover-up. <laughs> Until the facts came out during cross-examination. <laughs> Lead counsel, please. Lead counsel, please. Mr. Chairman, appeal to lead counsel. <laughs> it's not funny at all. <laughs> Red handed. <laughs> we are talking about a personal friend of mine who went through something that 
Ninge wa hatu tudi. Ndiri kwa kama ni shamba kari la wani. This is it. Uh, don't muddy the waters. You've, you've gone past that point. When you wrote this, you still had the cover up in mind. And you wanted to strengthen that cover up. Dinga binda lide, but I yani amanti sa ali. And I wrote this. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the cover-up was still to make everybody believe no. that Yaya Jame did not participate in the writing of that statement. And then to disagree with, with, with lead council. At well, this, well, the first time I am disagreeing openly and outwardly yes. with but, lead but, council. But, but listen no, to what you said. Listen to what you said. Okay? N before I ask any further questions okay. uh, on this particular matter, let me take a few steps backwards. We have agreed, or you have told the Commission, that while you were at Usman Sonko's office, consultations were going on with your who had the telephone calls with him? Yeah. I was sitting in my corner waiting. Exactly. No. So Yaya Jame was no. aware of what was going on. No. He participated. Apparently, yes. Okay, let me read out your statement. Paragraph 14. Paragraph 14. My two colleagues, Sonko and Tamba, seemingly expressed surprise and shock. Sumanyari natango, Tamba at Tamba, when you want a better and teeth and get They appeared alarmed and upset at Captain Tamba for being so careless with such a sensitive mission. Then you want a new merriment to Multamba, Chilinga Hamne Nula Sagane, Chimbir Mugameni. Listen carefully. Was His Excellency aware? Da, His Excellency, you go now? Question mark. How were we going to inform him? Na Question mark. Na kale nko ko laje. The atmosphere Yegole. in the room was cold and empty. Ninga hamne nun lambir mi don dohe ki nek ban togo mungi sepon. I was dumbfounded and flabbergasted. Man nang ba medyah leon amatuma sahluma wak. I sat there thinking. How such a thing could have happened without me as head of intelligence not having an inkling of it? Listen. Then General Tamba suggested that the three service chiefs should go to State House and inform the president. Then you are them State House, president. But before that, we should make a joint press statement and inform the public. Mr. Sambu, you write beautifully. Mr. Sambu, you write beautifully. In Queen's English, this presupposes that Jame did not have a clue about it. You sat there and told us that if you were in consultation with Jame, uh, the fact that we were three <laughs> makes you always talk about you. Yeah, right. the guy was on you. Yeah. And lead council doesn't wish the lead council in out to extricate me from the two and two plus one three. The council is of the opinion and is deeply convinced that from the onset, I was aware, I know, and I was in complicity with these people. I think, and that I think you're missing the point, Mr. Sam. Uh, my point is, you have told us two contradictory things. In your statement, you told us Jame did not know. And it was proposed that you go and inform him, the three of you. 
That's what you have in your statement. Do you agree with that? I agree with what I wrote. Wow. And you told the commission three times a little while ago that as you were hunkered down at the at the uh, uh, IGP's office, your people there were in consultation with the Ajame as to what to put in the press statement. Didn't you tell us that? Yes, I did. But obviously the two can't be both correct. They are in direct conflict. They are contradictory. My idea is, as so we were talking, <coughs> issues are coming up, and I'm remembering, <coughs> you asked me, don't I think that my two colleagues were aware and knew? And are, are you buying time to think through your answer? No, no, no. Because you seem to be I going know. around, what? you seem to be going through Fatoto to come to Banjul. One thing I know, mm -hmm. yeah. we, I was made to understand that yeah, Yahya didn't know anything about it. That's why I wrote what there. The thing is, you wrote this statement a few weeks ago. Yes. Even if at the time of the occurrence of events, you seem to have been of the initial view that Yaya Jame did not know anything. By the time you saw the consultations with Yaya Jame, you should have known that he knew. Why write that on our statement? Why write in your statement that Yaya Jame was not aware you planned to go and report to him? No, he been caught in the Mr. Sam, let's, let's cut the chase. This was written. You still had the idea to still maintain that cover-up. That yeah, yeah, was not aware. And that, and that you had to go and report to him. You only came out with the real truth when you were challenged about this. It's not too late to accept the truth. No, no, no. It's not about the. I have never. Def uh, uh, Deflected from the truth. I, I guess it's not the flagrant, flagrant delector. No no, 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 no. You know, as we are talking, you are reminding me we are talking, you are revealing these things and assisting me in thinking. I'm I'm thinking we can get to grips with issues. That's what is making me accept. Okay, which version is the truth? Yeah, I have participated in consultations with you as the statement was being written or the version that he did not know what was happening is the truth. Now, with the statement i was given the impression that he was not, he was not aware that is why I asked the impression we had at the meeting there was that he was not aware I wrote it over there and asked those questions. I'm the one who asked the questions. No, the, the issue is not that you were aware. The question is that you were not aware. The question is about the decision that you made. The issue is not so much about the questions. The issue is about the decision that the three service chiefs should go and inform the president. Yes. Mere do mere like chale. Mere mo elinga nangu tono e nyati kilifayo e na wara anda demi yegal he baadhi. How can you how can you go to inform him about something that he had participated in writing? He has practically dictated it to you while you are hunkered there trying to come up with a strategy of what to say to the Gambian people. There was nothing to inform him about. He actually informed you about it and made you write that statement. I came to realize that. I no, no wonder when all three of you walked into his office, he looked at you as fools because you just did what he wanted you to do without asking any questions. And it was, in fact, soon after that, you went back to your colleagues and informed them at the NIA.
True or false? Did our lady eat? Is that what uh, Haidara said? Yes. Yeah, I told you the other day that I don't remember. Well, Haidara said, oh, no, just, no, to, no. just to recollect things off the top of my head, that you went there to the panel, they were there, and you informed them of the escape, alleged escape of Daba Marena and co, and they asked questions. And you sarcastically told them that we'll write down these questions and put your name, and I will take it to the president. I don't know if you correct. I don't know if you correct. I don't know if you but if you could not remember, how could you talk about that particular point? That point, I didn't remember. Having said it here, I will not deny it. Having said it, having raised the issue here, you know, during our polemic, things are coming up. You are reminding about a few things. And I definitely will admit that. I have learned a few things. We will take them. We will take them. The jungle has said that Daba Marena and Co. were strangled to death and dumped in a well. Jungle has said that Daba Marena and Co. were strangled to death and dumped in a well. Jungle has said that They were executed. I had that here. By their fellow members in the service of the country. During our tete-a-tete, I told you I have always refused to accept that Marina was dead. The testimonies here. I don't believe it. I have always refused to revert to him as the late. Because go back on. Even if I don't believe in it. I didn't believe in it. Mr. Sambu, how do you feel? Mr. Sambu, no yik. Having been Director General. Ganekon Director General. Of this institution. Chilige Ikaibi. That has connived with other institutions. Me ena ikunenetigo akene nilige Ikaibi. Under the direct order of Tiaya Jame. Chiron digal bubaye ko Tiaya Jame. To fabricate evidence. Against Gambians. Kende yo hamne yedan kote kiko Gambian. Which was used. Kende foko. To secure the convictions of these people. E pulmuna amri yon dan yinga hamne nyo mwe nyit nyi. Serve very long sentences. Unyo yon dan le nyudal di tida kaso ay at yubari. How do you feel that you are an administrative supervisor of an investigative outfit that tortured Gambians into making confessions? How do you feel? Having been the person who put together reports that were sent, which formed the basis of the prosecution and conviction of a number of Gambians. How do you feel supervising and, di and, and administering an institution that ensured the illegal detention of a number of Gambians for extended periods of time. How do you feel 
being the director general of the torture chamber of the Gambia, which was doing things at the instruction and at the behest and for the benefit of Yahya Jami. Naka nga yeg na bu feke na yow ya ki nga hamna ya jite wun bere bo hamna den kodan gerri pu di mbugal di torokhal di mititan ay nit chi ndigal lo hamna yinan koy gote mbaye ko chi Yahya Jami. As a human being, comme ni lo ma adama, as a Christian, ni Christian, as a father, as a person, you feel disappointed with your own self. You feel having been used. You feel you've let down not only yourself but those you are serving. You feel a feeling, you have a feeling of let down. I'm feeling better. It's deeply regrettable. Very disappointing. You would soon leave the NIA and uh, move on to some other institution of state. But ultimately, you would suffer the fate that a lot of Gambians who did Jamie's bidding ultimately suffered. Uh, you Lila dal melni lidal ni len rek ni len ni nga xamne ño fa nek lon yaaya jami diko defal limbuga la len dal mo mit mo la dal you got sacked from your job ba baxala ci sa liggey didn't that happen no no am yes indeed wow am na at this time Prior to your sacking, tell us about your relationship with Yaya Jami. Jami no joy juna balanga don da ha wah no se digan te Yaya Jami na kala melon. On easy string bedfellows. Do to New York. Could you explain that? Na New York island. We had a very good working relationship, but very difficult. Amon na joko elige buye. Why na kijafia wa na ite men? Strictly professional. Tell us more about I, it. I, I did not fancy getting near to him. You wouldn't know what he meant by what, from what he's saying. So it, it behoved on me to keep away from him. You have had several brushes with him. Mm. Several uncomfortable moments with him. Yes. yes. Well, want to tell? No, the most difficult one was when he locked up my elder brother. But that such was his modus operandi. He will pit brother against brother. Yeah. Brother against sister. He would Man against wife. He would suck my brother this year for six months, in reinstate him and suck me. He could, he could in fact, so uh, one, of of the, one of the more frequent headlines was really has bounced back. Yeah. That's true. No, his intention was to sow seeds of discord between us. Uh, he, he, he made a mistake. He couldn't. He couldn't. But, uh, but what happened against come. you and your brother? There were even some tribal issues in how he would deal with, with things. You know, you know, 
When you talk about Jola, everybody thinks Jolas are one. So they may be what you feel Jolas. And I dap on the Jola, you bend the leg. But they are different. I am not putting Jolas. I'm not putting it. I Jola. Gambian Jola is the funny one. Gambian Jola, more you funny. We originate from Kazamas. You need to go or funny is Kazamas. The majority of us are Christians. Then you better see you like I Christian. That's the difference. Don't more you tell me. He had his own people. Mom, I'm not I need them. He really promoted. At the end of the day, he would pitch them against us. But uh, invariably, are you suggesting that uh, some jewelers were believed as more royalty than others? Sometimes so. We're talking about Jami. Some thought so. He he thought so. Yeah, he thought so. Sometimes, 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 sometimes so they behave like that. Are you suggesting that he discriminated amongst the Jolas? Some Jolas were given higher priority, more premium than others? I, Is that what you're saying? I, I, I wouldn't know because I'm not funny. I don't know the difference among them and their clans. But I know that uh, he favored his people very much. Well, 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 you said he favored his people. You mean to say he favored the Jolas? But even at that, uh, even at that, Yaya Jame still went against the Jolas with a very heavy hand. I know that. I had it. In fact, I have here Exhibit 9, Mr. Chair. Exhibit 9. And uh, we have received evidence that he killed Mumodula Min Nyasi, Buba Sanyang, Ndongumbub, Modula Min Kujabi, Dauda Nyasi, Harona Jame, Masi Jame, Sise Jata, Tumbultamba, Musa Jambe, Samba Kujabi, Lamin Baji, all of whom are from Fony. Then you live in the Fony and Jogi, the one in your yard, Jamie Molendry. And the Jolas he jailed? Jola, I have no name to take us up. Lang Tombong Tamba, Landing Sane, Ibrahim Abun Sane, Abdullah Kujabi, Modu Baji, Ensa Baji, Bintanding Jaju, Modu Manga. Usman Jame, Pahari Jame, Alfuseni Jame, Ibrahim Amare, Kausu Jiba, Uyesane, Suleiman Bojang, Idrisa Koli, Solo Bojang, Jibril Bojang, Asis Tamba, Kausu Kamara, and the list goes on and on and on. Ni mulim ni yep at nyene nak nyene na nyene yep jola la ni wante ted nyale ni kasobi. In as much as as you said, he favoured his people, quote unquote. He also went against them. Yaya Jame was only interested in protecting his own seat as president. Do you agree with that? And I said it yesterday. And he used the NIA. To instill fear on the Gambian people. In order to entrench himself and self perpetuate in power. In fact, Mr. Chair, the irony is the opening words of the preamble of the 1997 constitution was to talk about to talk against the self perpetuation in power of the recent past that was the self alleged self perpetuation in power of the jara administration but everything that the ayajame did was in fact to do exactly the same thing using illegal means using the nia to instill fear on the gambian people you agree with that? I do. No, no. You would be given an opportunity to address the commission. I won't ask you any further question about what happened after you were sacked. You can address it in your closing remarks by talking about the impact uh, that all this had on you. Uh, but before I close, I ask you one last question. When you were sacked from government, what did you do?
I told you yesterday, lead council, Dembu, lead council, that ne? being on contract, ne, kisimbiri, kisimbiri contract, I was dismissed. You told him a doctor. And I know that somebody on ne? contract, ne contract will not be dismissed. The contract is terminated contract either by the employer or the employee. Mm. But I was in my bed when I, to I got new, the, the SG himself called me either my SGB call to say that what His Excellency has requested that I be removed from my post. His Excellency be So I went and collected my letter. Let them get my letter. You are dismissed from the service. You do not say you are you gaining in the service. And having been dismissed, it means I will lose my benefit. Can now go home and move on my dismissal. Then the my wife and Nyak Nyak and I will not go home any. So my endampani. Dismissal. My wife will This is to, uh, January 28, 2013. This is to inform you that the Public Service Commission has concurred with the decision to dismiss you from the service of the Gambia government with effect from January 28. In line with the administrative procedures, you are duly advised to hand over to the incoming permanent secretary, Mr. Yusuf Adjiba, with immediate effect. Full stop. <laughs> so at, I at, le le at least you are lucky. It's, it's, it's a whole paragraph. Yes. Yo, I'm going to suck suck good on a duty. Could have been a sentence. I left. The date of my son's third birthday. So it was like a funeral in the house that day. But I said no. We had planned to, plan to celebrate the birthday. We will continue. I bought the drinks and the cakes, and I called, told told the madam to. Call the children and let them celebrate. Did that euphoria last, last long? I had to leave the country. A week later. Why? For a whole year, from January 2012 to, to January 2013, he had been threatening me. Look. I have been warning you, I will deal with you, 2013 will be your year. Mm -hmm. So I had to leave. I had applied for a passport. <coughs> but they refused to issue me with the passport. Because I had already left. They said I should come back and collect the passport. What did it mean? What did it mean? If I come back, I would be finished. So I continued like that. Luckily, I had a valid diplomatic passport which I used until I came back home. So I didn't travel with it. I just kept it as ID. I went, if I showed it, and I would be given the due respect. I have a few uh, documents to tender. If you don't know, Mr. Chairman, you asked me for something yesterday. I traced one. But what I want to say... Some of the minutes, yes. Yes. What I want to say is, uh, you are asking about my relationship with Jame. He did not want to see my moustache. So he said, somebody in cabinet, they are all sitting. Somebody has an Adolf Hitler moustache. So, don't you see him? Uh, nobody saw. I just did like that. And he said, defense, that your moustache, remove it. I'll pay for every single whisker. I laughed. From January 2012, November 2012, any travel that opportunity that I had, conferences, seminars, workshops, you would say no, the PS will not travel. They let a senior military officer travel. Yes, we do took it. These are travels for policy makers. If you send a captain or a lieutenant colonel who knows nothing about what we are going to do, 
It's a loss. Boyu ni kwa kama ni left hand kuna ni wala kapi. Yeah, Jamie has made us. Yeah, Jamie has made us lose something I will never forget in my life. Na ni ya Jamie na tahana ni nyaka kwa kama ni tumo kama safari si sumo dundo. As chairman, national authority of the OPCW committee here, the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. I was supposed to go to Addis Ababa. I had gone been to the Hague the year before and arranged with them to organize a West Africa a sub regional workshop here and we did in 2011. The following year I went to the Hague Madame C. Hague and we arranged to come and build and establish a the regional center here, training center for West Africa in Gambia. He agreed. He agreed. It was time for me to go. The meeting was to be in Addis Ababa in May. Yeah, he said I shouldn't go. It was going to October. I said I shouldn't go. They were going to approve it and we come and establish it here. Senegal and Nigeria were fighting for it. Senegal and Nigeria were fighting for it. But <coughs> because I could not go, why did I not go? We lost the opportunity. Why? Why? His birthday was coming in May. At the same, during the start, same weekend. Yes, and he didn't want me to go. I had to go and attend it. In I he kept pushing and pulling, sending the file up and down. What is the OPCW? Who are members of the OPCW? Why are you going? But there? of course, it was know? his birthday. You had to attend. So we lost but the these are things that he played around with. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, on, 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 in 2011, we were traveling on his yacht, going to Farafenya to celebrate his... Oh, he had one? He has a wooden watch, yacht, at Saro. Mm -hmm. By mm -hmm. some Indians. So we were crossing to go to Bara, and he called me and he, uh, uh, the former minister of local government, Pierre Tamba, he said, in front of everybody, People are following your priests and nuns. Don't you know that they are pedophiles and homosexuals and they are having affairs among themselves? Why don't you come and follow us? Those ones. I told them I said, sir, this is not the forum, sorry. Let's talk about this thing somewhere else later. By the way, we cannot all be in one boat. It will sink. Allow others to ride in other boats. You can go and sit down. He didn't like that. He went to Dasilame, saw my garden, and took it. But when I came back in 2017, I went to the Alcalo. He said, you can go and take it back. That's in 2012. We had already graded the whole place, level. Everything. Everything. I lost my contract. When I came contract. back, I applied to government. They rescind the decision to dismiss me. They have requested, they have rescinded it, but they have refused to pay me. These are the consequences of my exile. If you play with the snake, don't be surprised when it bites you. So I have some lands I'm still struggling to collect. Oh, there is one in Salaji. Somebody is trying to build something on it. I will send you copies of the papers. Maybe the commission can help me get them back. But the rest will live in the hands of God. We have suffered from uh, the exile I cannot talk about in Dakar. It's crazy. It's your victimization. Just like that was Langton Box. Yes. So, Kuchine Kasa Leketla. Wow. Borom Lal Mohammad Lalam. Yeah, Jamal Nkobai. 
He says he wants to come over. Let him come. We will welcome him. Let him just come. We will help those who wish to bring him back. Just let him come. He will find us by the grace of God. But it's because of him that we are in this jazz. I call it jazz. He put all of us in this jazz. And He's a big, big blasphemer. I would call him a, an egocentric, myopic, <laughs> gluttonous, hmm? schizophrenic, sadist. That's how I'll describe him. I wouldn't say very appropriate. Then I was a little bit the Mr. Chair, over to you. Thank you very much, Emma Council, and uh, thank you very much, Mr. Sambu, for your testimony. Three quick points. First, a memorandum that uh, you said you brought and a notation perhaps on it um, from Jamaica. Can you just go through that quickly? Yes, there's a minute I sent to the minute. His Excellency, I said, H.E., the Commander-in-Chief and Minister of Defense, that's how you address it. H.E.I.A. -E via the Secretary General. Your Excellency's kind attention is respectfully referred to Minute 23 at Center of File. The package, sir, was transmitted through the Office of the Chief of Defense Staff whilst I was away on official mission with the then Chief of Defense Staff. It was a package brought in mails. I was also inopportune to meet His Excellency the Russian Ambassador during that visit to Banjul and the subsequent one by the Defense Attaché to discuss the issue. Sir, did not mat the, the, the other issue did not materialize prior to the forwarding them to forwarding them to your excellency <coughs> in my bid to seek for the opportune moment sir note sir 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 this much time elapsed resulting in the oversight inadvertent oversight your excellency sir no man is perfect and i am indeed one of them it is for this reason sir that I once again crave Your Excellency's passionate indulgence to tamper mercy in this very holy season of Tabaski. Please accept, sir, my very deepest apologies for any inconveniences I may have caused in the process. Most respectfully submitted, sir. Your Excellency. Sir. Signed, Harry P. F. Samu, PSPMO, October 2012. Now, his reply. PS stroke SG. Next time there is an oversight, you will pay a high price. <laughs> Do not think that I have lost track of the numerous last warnings issued to you. I never received any warning. You do not seem to have any concern, common sense of responsibility. And this is how he writes them. Thank you very much. Um, if you can just be <coughs> There are many the I could not trace them. And uh, it would be entered. Uh, credible to have uh, such uh, an exchange between a head of state and a subordinate. Point two, you raised um, uh, uh, the three blind minds nursery rhyme. Yami probably was the uh, farmer's wife who had a carving knife. And the three blind mice were running after her. She cut off your tails with that carving knife and said, as you said, sent you packing. You guys went ahead and uh, um, sent that uh, kind of note to him. Who was the main drafter of that statement? I think it was the IGP, I think. I, 
cannot remember fully, really. Sorry, I didn't hear you. I think it was the IGP, because we were in his office. I think. I can't really fully remember, no. And was the statement finally issued? Oh, yes. It was announced over the radio. We have it on record. Council? Uh, what we have is uh, a very illegible version of some of the contents. It was a newspaper, published in the newspaper. Uh, we have it, but uh, it's illegible. That's why I did not tender it. And the three uh, service chiefs drafted that memorandum, that statement. Yes, but it was issued in the name of the IGP. Well, the Gambian people will certainly reply, have you ever seen such a thing in your life as three blind <laughs> mice all running up and down and you cannot come up? They would say no. The Gambian people would say no. We have never seen... Uh, three blind men's, uh, mice like that going around. I, it's, it's incredible. Third point. Um, today is probably the th two years, 19 days since we started these summer public hearings. But um, for me, well, again, you are the, I think, the 324th witness to come here. But what I witnessed this afternoon is just um, uh, incredible that uh, uh, the chain of um, your testimony, there's a link there that I don't get it. And I'm sorry, I'm going to have to establish a bracket, a parenthesis, and ask you, if you can tell without any interruption, and uh, maybe the interpreter can come in and uh, tell us exactly what happened from A to Z when uh, uh, Deva Marina and the co were being taken to Janjambure and uh, the press statement was issued? Just go on, you know, uh, perhaps for five minutes, no more than that. Um, and just tell us uh, the story, because the thing was a bit convoluted for me. Council tried um, to, bring it, um, uh, to bring in some order there, and somehow I didn't get it. Can you please go ahead? Tell us the story of um, uh, when Dava and the Anko were taken, um, were being taken to Janjambure, and uh, uh, the entire story. Just go ahead with the entire story and tell us what, what exactly happened. Oh, sorry, interpreter. <laughs> Is chairman asking me about the contents of the statement? No, not at all. I'm asking you to tell me the story in your own words. Um, what exactly happened? That's the, yeah, it's your involvement. You and the three service chiefs, the this contacts you had with the president, just the story. Did, would you believe that I don't know anything about how he, they were supposedly transported or whatever? Fine. You when when did you hear it? That day. The ah, next so day. go on, go on, tell the story. Uh, we, I won't interrupt you. I that just want to hear the thing some, uh, consistently. Tumbul said Tumbul that, that five prisoners were being transported to Janjambure. And on the way, they had an accident. accident. The vehicle somersaulted. It was in the night. And they escaped. That's it. No, no. You didn't stop there. You, the service keeps back. So, so go on, continue in, the story in, until the in, press statement was issued. In the morning, as I said, the chief of defense staff called me on the telephone that we were supposed to have a meeting at the police headquarters. And, and, the, three police. Of, and the three of us went to meet. At the meeting was also the late Captain Tumbul Tamba. And there he blotted out the story that he gave about the escape. That was when 
Chief of Defense Staff suggested Chief of Defense Staff, <coughs> we should inform Echi. But before that, we should issue the press statement. We sat down, knocked head toge heads together. We sat down, knocked heads together. And drafted something and gave it, and, and the IGP drafted it and he released it. From then, we went to State House in a convoy. We went to State House. We went to Echi. You don't see Echi. That's how he. That's when he treated us. Treated us like the like the three blind mice. Echi jamano bo na chile nyu daldi and sent us packing. Back na nyu daldi dalo. And uh, during the drafting session in the IGP's office. Contacts were being made with the state house. They were talking to him. Ningena binda hebar bo bu office IGB. I'm not ID so you have to interrupt you. But go on. You left it out. I could see the I could see the IGP walking from his desk to his chair. Just now to the telephone and back to the telephone. You go sit over by the table and be trying to draft the sit telephone and be. Just afterwards that I found out that they were talking to His Excellency. Ganna ulo na chila hamna ni mom nyom nyom gudawa haki His Excellency. very much. Commissioners, if you have any questions, please indicate. Commissioner Carr, followed by Commissioner Kinte, who's on my right first. Commissioner Carr, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Dear Jeff Chairman. Mr. Sambu, thank you for coming to see your story. Sambu, dear Jeff, you can proceed to you and you can help me. And for helping the commission. And for helping the commission. I want to ask you three questions. The first is, how do you think the NIA became a central tool to perpetuate Jamme in office? Can you please repeat? The first is how do you what, how do you think the NIA became a central tool to perpetuate Jamme in office? I said it here. <coughs> that that the NIA was the NIA baby. No conan dummy. NSS, NSS in the last time, si time was disbanded after the after the coup. Then so it has already gone now coup. So Jamie decided to create the NIA. So that Jamie chose his own DG. Mutan Ben Khalifa go have chose his own men. Mutan I need to meet After a few months, six months maybe, I don't know. Mutan I wear it. You don't 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 wear it. The, 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 the Armed Forces ruling, Professional Ruling Council, AFPRC, uh, uh, drafted a, a decree, Decree 45. Which was all-encompassing. All and that's where, that's the Bible of the NIA. Mm -hmm. And he used the NIA for everything. Thank you. <coughs> how, how did torture become institutionalized uh, in the NIA? I also said it here that Jamie did feet? not believe in any normal procedures of obtaining yeah, uh, information from detainees or arrested people. Gumut linga hamne ni moi anam gijado chini linga hamene nolo njoe jote aibata khel chini linga hamne denge ntu maldara. To him, everybody was a threat. Mom kena kuneka ne dal njakere la onchi mom. And you, he has to teach you a lesson so that you know that he is the boss. Te dafla wara jangal lo hamne ni bunga hamne mom moi kilifagi moi boss be. So he will give instructions for you to be beaten. So dafa jo hendi gal puni durla. And he will send his soldiers. In fact, for na dafa hebon sa ena ebe. The first one soldier in Union of the Falco Lincoln. Lincoln. Thank I also you. Said, I also said that he did not believe in this Masla Hatting diplomacy and Mondal uh, Dolere. He always used force. So for Mom, for Mom, for Mom, for Mom, for for him, he must show that he is the boss. 
Thank you. The final question is looking back at your at your service. At various institutions in the country. From the NIA to central government. And the other institutions that you have worked for. Don't you think you could have done more to prevent the torture and other inhuman uh, treatment that Gambians were subjected to? Thank the more you are talking about, what would have spelled danger. It would have meant I was going beyond my limits. I have told you about Jame and power. Even if somebody had a problem with him and you go and beg, like he wants to dismiss a minister, he wants to uh, detain somebody, he wants to say, sir, please, he's a, he's a family man, you know, hey, you have come here, I look at you. No, he thinks that's weakness, you're a weakling. So, he, he, in, with me taking my file, going to him, discussing with him, telling him, sir, like the ladies, let them go home. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, replace them. Go. That's what he is all about. Mm -hmm. And wanting to do more, mm -hmm. you land yourself in trouble. Mm -hmm. The testimonies here have sold, have told you. And me alone, I would, I would stand out alone like a majority or a minority in the whole in the whole sea of seals or whales. And intellectual is because I was one of the few guys over there. I may be seen as somebody who, who was swaying my Christianity and being <coughs> intellectual. So, so, so. It was only when I started bringing in this training program, sending these boys to university. My GTI, GTI, and and we started having university in GTTI. But I said it here that uh, subsequent directors would bring in their guys in, ba in batches. Well, what now if you get the director and then in this scene, it will spiral down. <coughs> Just a follow-up question to that. I find it interesting because there are situations where you spoke to him about cases you've mentioned even just now, including uh, uh, anti-Ramsia. But would you not say that that would be a failure on your part? Because if I got you right, you mentioned that one of the reasons you took the job was to impact change. And if you took the job and we are not able to impact change, would that not be failure on your part? In fact, I was sacked before I finished. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's a failure. Thank you, Commissioner Kinte. Uh, good afternoon, yes, sir. Mr. Sambu. Good afternoon, Mr. Sambu. Um, you told us that you you were invited as as ch service chiefs to the office of the inspector general of police and your mission was to uh, d discuss and strategize among yourselves how you will put up uh, a press release and to subsequently meet the president. Um, you, you mentioned here that you never knew the communication that was happening within your core uh, was, was with the president. Uh, Is that what you still maintain? Commissioner. That the telephone calls that we are going 
in between. You never knew where they were going or coming from until afterwards. Is that what you still maintain? Commissioner. Yep. Commissioner. Yeah. President Jame is Jola. President Jame Jola. Okay. Tombong is Jola. Ram Tombong Jola. Usman Sonko is Jola. Usman Sonko Jola. All phone is. Nyamivu wa phone. Ngul. Ngul Tamba is Jola. Ngul Tamba Jola. Ngul is a half brother or first cousin to Lang Tombo. Mm -hmm. Ngul. Uh, when they are even sitting down and talking, I wouldn't hear what they are saying and they are speaking Jola. Buin talking to us. Ndigu mofonye. Ndigu kasa. Ndigu Jola. 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 Ndigu Lang Tumbong and Usman Sonko were in this as it has always been Usman Sonko's senior. Lang Tumbong sabu nekre kili falachi Usman Sonko. Usman Sonko has served under him for a number of years. Usman Sonko nekre na chiro nam delegacy ay adubari. In the security service, if you are senior to somebody, the buntu service will be very always senior. Sabu nekre ya koi senior. Moreover, if he is your kith and kin, wakumala na jamal bo hamne ni sab khalela. When they are talking to each other, we don't even know. You've not answered my question. Are you still maintaining that you did not know until everything expired? Don't lose my light, baby. Let me light my hamulo one bill. Me beg them now, be yep tasaro chinko dore yep. No, binyo draft. Anakati binyo ready draft. Can be. We are trying to draft the paper. Legally, Usman Jok. Sometimes Usman will get up and go to the telephone. Ideas come up and we write. Ideas, ideas coming from where? Lubinda. Usman. All along. Lubinda. Okay. Just like lead council said that it was be coming from. Make it shorter. You still did not know that Yaya was participating. Afterwards, I found out, of course. But you said at the end. I just want to know whether that's what you maintain. At the end? Yes. It was only at the end that you knew yes. they were communicating with you. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I want to refute that. You want to refute it? Yep. Thank you. Um, in your letter, yes. a, letter. a short letter you, you presented to the council. Okay. I remember you used many excellencies and many SARS. Yes, the, the minute. Uh, I remember some other um, witnesses also said that you must repeatedly reaffirm your subordination to Yaya and His Majesty over you in order to be in his good books. And that's why every statement or every other statement will be policed with sa 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 sa. Am I right? So I think uh, while they were communicating, you must have known earlier that they were talking to Yaya because the Excellency and the sa must be very frequent. Mm. Mm. If they are speaking in Jola or in whatever language, mm. uh, this tradition must be maintained. Hello. No. I know, I know. Yes. So, so you should have known quite earlier. So I want you to uh, review that, Re you know. Uh, that you knew he, they were communicating with Yaya, but you could have explained other things. I was dumbfounded. I was so amazed. I could not even have, I was in myself, but I knew they were talking with Yaya, and I did not participate in their talking. Uh, that one I could take. Uh, of you? If you know the topography of the office of the IGP, there's a long chair on one side. Mm -hmm. So how many classes somewhere around um, Commissioner C? Mm -hmm. it's, uh, there's a distance, mm -hmm. and um, when you are talking to Echi, so you do that. You don't want the next person to know that what you're talking about or you're talking to him. So by the time you talk and finish, the person might be an expert spy or busybody to try to find out what you're talking about. And obviously, I don't think he would, somebody would be unwise enough to talk loud for the next person to hear that he's talking to His Excellency. 
cannot be so it cannot be audible to the extent that the near the person within the same office cannot hear the communication anything from the one side from your side that's unbelievable my, my apologies commissioner uh, my, 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 commissioner okay my, my second point um, instead of going to Yaya to confirm that you have already accomplished the assignment, I think you are giving us a wrong impression that you went to tell him you have already made a press release, you are, you are now you know, coming to inform him of your actions and so on. Do you, do you want to review that one also? The suggestion from CDS was that after the press statement, we go to H.E. and inform him. Uh, the suggestion from CDS was that uh, and not to confirm no. to, uh, your to obedience to the orders. No, no, no. To inform him that this is what happened. My third point is uh, when you did that, according to your story, your narration, he asked you to go out and make sure these people are brought, the people are captured and brought to book. Is that not his instruction? Yes. Indeed. How much has your office, NIA, done? In fact, you are the expert intelligence uh, uh, custodian. How much has your office done to determine, the, you know, the truth from the falsehood as the, the situation is? How far have you gone? Who did you assign? What did they achieve? And so on. You know, yeah, Jamel loves saying, what goes around comes around. And he said, in a very short time, the rumors started coming out like mushrooms. And obviously, I spoke to my senior officers. They went down the ground. No, no, down the ground. They send no pay to for find out. And don't forget, they were also mingling with the junglers. In a very short time, it filtered out. Who among your subordinates did you assign to go out for the intelligence? You have liaison offices like lead council said. Every region, every region has a liaison office. You inform them and tell them this is what happened. Keep your eyes on the borders. But remember, I already know that you have a, a whole unit on operation. Yes. It is the responsibility of that operation to have gone out and they will be complemented by your various regional uh, outfits. That's why I said I spoke to my senior office, senior managers. But I'm that that I'm not not operations man can you give one or two names. When you say managers with S, it means you can give me two or three names. <sighs> I wouldn't remember. It's a long time. 2006. When I left, they were moved around. And when I took over, I met some there. So you wouldn't be able to know. Your memory has been so good in all your coming and going and <laughs> yes, changes, that changes is, that and that so is on. True, Mr. You know, it is only this one that you cannot <laughs> even vividly remember anything. Well, I spoke to my deputy DG. <laughs> Who was the deputy <laughs> DG? Mr. Hydra. Hydra. And you ask him, you assign Hydra uh, to, to, to all hands on deck 
for the mission? Not particularly assigned. Mm -hmm. There is a, 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 a setup, there is an organogram, there is the director of external, director of internal, I know. director of operations. Now, I wouldn't remember who was where at that time, but obviously, definitely, we sat down at a meeting and we tabled this issue. In and which Marena was present? No, Marena. Yes, that's what you said. You, that's what you just said. Excuse me. No. <laughs> no. You said Marena. Marena is the one who's been disappeared. Hydra. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry please. Yes. Yes. Hydra. At the meeting, all senior officers were there. Yeah, but particularly you named Hydra as yes, your deputy. Yes, I named Hydra. He was my deputy. He was my deputy. And that means they went out. No, I, don't, I don't know. We don't go out. He at the no, I know. What I mean, they went out through the ladder. They assigned uh, some. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Field yes. hands and so you, on. And you they have operatives on the ground. I know. Yes. And then in that case, have they brought you any feedback? And I believe some of these things should be in writing, you know, and so on, like minutes of your, that meeting, and when they came out, the report they submitted, and so on. Can you give us some evidence of your, any effort you have made to uh, make some uh, intelligent search? Mm -hmm. Even if there, there, was been it, there must have been, it, there must be there in the archives. I cannot do anything about it. Okay, I, 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 I left a few months after. Been, been called, uh, and you know you cannot keep NIA document outside. Okay. Now we no, 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 yeah. uh, you know. Perhaps may, maybe I can help here. The council and team, uh, you know, will. Uh, let me let me let me help Mr. Kinte. Yes, please. Uh, remember, I have raised this issue twice. First with Lang Tombo, General Tamba, and secondly with Mr. Sambo. Mr. Haider said, Mr. Sambo came and reported to them. Uh, that uh, the three service chiefs have just issued a press release indicating that these people have escaped custody. So Haidara said that he asked questions because none of them believed the story that the government came up with. And the reason why they did not believe was because they were familiar with how detainees were normally transported, especially high-profile detainees. Mm -hmm. So then he asked questions. And then Mr. Sambu told him, mm -hmm. that, well, write down those questions and write your name on it, and I would pass it on to the president. Mm -hmm. Remember, I just raised that. Mm -hmm. and, and he said, uh, he could not remember that. Uh, but this is uh, Haider's description of the matter. Um, um, it looks quite clearly mm -hmm. that the thing died down. Natural death. A natural death. Yeah, because uh, the challenge given to Haider, he would not venture that. It seems uh, something, um, um, Mr. Sambu had something under the sleeves. Because uh, why ask him to, you know, ask individual questions? And instead of following your mission, those those will be those are threats to Hydra. Those will be taken to the president. So it's Hydra's heads that will run roll. He would not have ventured that. So that's how he died. So you participated in the cover up, as uh, 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 council had always said, uh, in the co entire cover up. You were a, a participating agent, a significant participating agent. Would you admit that? I agreed to one cover up. This one also. <laughs> it's a cover up. You <laughs> write down the write down the questions and I'll take it to the president. You are the director. It should be from the director. You have already got your uh, assignment from the president. Director down and then something until you get the feedback. So if you ask your immediate subordinate to write down the questions and you will take it and sign it, confirming his uh, implication, and you will take it to the president, that say no, let no one do anything about this. Okay. I, I'm, as I'm saying, are you admitting that you are a key conspirator in the whole s issue? No, I wouldn't. Okay. Uh, the witness okay. has been put the proposition that there are two cover-ups. The first 
is to cover up what actually happened. Mm -hmm. That is the basis of the press release. Mm -hmm. And the second was to cover up how the cover up was done. <laughs> He has accepted participating in that second one, mm -hmm. but not in the first one. Okay. So, so the question you are asking uh, is similar. Mm -hmm. It's like part of the first cover-up, mm -hmm. but you can also call it a third cover-up, mm -hmm. which is discouraging every inquiry as to what has happened. Exactly. So, but uh, our position is that they all knew what had happened, and they just decided to keep quiet about it. So they are all co-conspirators? Uh, well, they are conspirators in the cover-up. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But in the actual doing, mm -hmm. he said he was not aware, he was not involved. Exactly. Lang Tombong said he was not aware, he was not yeah, involved. involved. I would imagine Sonko would also say that he was thing. not aware, he was not involved. Yeah. But it's for the commission to later look into these yeah, things absolutely. and yes. make up its mind yeah. as to what they believe and do not believe. Indeed, yeah. and uh, yeah. those officers, the three officers, weren't about to sign their death warrants. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Commissioner Kinte. Commissioner Samba, you have the floor, please. Um, Hari P. Sambo. Mange la wahne tisuma hilat danga wara jigalu. I'm saying this on my, my mind that you should apologize. Tininga hamne nyon nyon loru. Those who were victimized. Sisa tenu. During your time as the director. Because you are the one report. Because you were the one who was sending reports. Amna nyubari nyusi de. There are many people who died. There were many people who were jailed. In my mind, I think you should apologize to those. My second correction is You said Dabamarina was your friend. Yes, she was my friend. 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 was arrested and brought him to your office. Turn over. When he said that he was relieved that you were the one who took over, uh, last card on Bimoy, his last uh, statement with you was, Hari Dinkanala Sumonjo Bodgi Ak Mariama. Hari, take good care of my family and Mariama. Then Lori Yanko Ko Samal Chiganawam, Paski Kadu Deda for this. Why are you with that thing? Because it's somebody who died. For the spec of the apology, that's why we are here. And I will do it. I'm a human being. I will do it. Mariama. Mariama. At that time, I did the little thing that I could do. Why? Sorry. Why not? I couldn't go further than that. They were, they were watching me. Why afterwards? But after that, Mutuki. she traveled. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Jerry Jeff. Thank you. Uh, my Commissioner Carl, let me come back to you. You have a supplementary question. As the commissioners on my left hand side, if they have any questions. Yes, um, uh, Imam Jalo, you have the floor, please. Witness. Imam Jalo, I said that the various experiences you have had in the services, in view of the fact that you have been at the center of everything that happened in the NIE, made the temperament of a bad leader, what would you advise your present service chiefs to ensure that they function as is expected? Thank you. First, of all, they should subjugate themselves to 
the democratically elected government, civil, 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 civilian democratically elected government. Tinjel Ben, then you are at the Mumale Sembo Puti, Nguru Democracy, Ngaham Nim Gedo. That the armed and security services are always. Buntu Yinga have the news to Ali Karangi, what to make a Denwara? Under the authority of the democratically. Civilian democratically elected government. That the culture of impunity. And the abuse of their uniforms. And the lack of discipline. Within the ranks. And the, the military civilian relationship. These things should be maintained and the service chief should see to that. The GT service, Bunti service, what are you doing? Not only that. The welfare of the services, the men and women serving in these services. Should be very well taken care of. That's their housing. Their feeding. Their logistics. And their salaries. Allowances. So, so that they will have the, they wouldn't have the mind to think of any other thing about themselves. And be obedient. To, to authority. Thank you. Um, Deren, uh, yes, Imam C, you have the floor, please. Mr. Sambu, Monglai Gareb Jilinga Leral. Mr. Sambu, I'm thanking you for what you have just made it clear here. Only Lima Jaka like Moy. My only doubt here is. The time you were entering to that job, did you know Yaja met before that much? Yaja met before that much. Did you know Yaja met before that much? Did you know Yaja met before that much? Did you know Yaja met before that much? God has seen you already that you were occupying another good place. Yanku Suri. You were far away from him. Your mind was steady. And later you took up another job where you know that. Every day you are preventing yourself from him and trying to distance him yourself. Every day you have a lot of challenges. And the double you just mentioned. What you first did, you cried here. How you passed through what you did with him? Maybe lead council has told you about him. How you took over his place? And how you praise him here? Less than two weeks, you had about his problems. That was the time you should think about yourself. When you are well educated. That's the time you should have gone when you are with your papers. This is what worries me, how you were maintaining this. Imam, Imam thank you. Ya jamin ni tla. Ya jamin was Iman bin. Ni dafa sopeko. Iman bin is about is bound to change. Ni do 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 sorti. Nobody is completed. Man meet myself. Linga fok. What you thought of? Akli am. And what will happen? Dubena. Will not be the same. N I A. N I A. Nga my own N S S. You know I was with the N S S. Majoye N S S dem N I A. I left the NIS, NIS, then I went to the NIA. And later I came back. I thought that I could have made some changes. 
which was very, which could be very significant. I am a Gambian citizen. Security la janga. And I am educated in security. Mamlaham. That's what I know. Normal government. If at all it was a normal government, Come Senegal, PPP. like Senegal here, you, you not hear the, their voices. Why boy hit our girl? What when you are sailing a boat? Buko jubal ni galgi def ni rek ngai hamu put def delo. Da fanari, da fanari tro. Te te ni wako wahe man kena lawan. Do do man kena wahe imai noni ti lawan. As I was telling you, I was alone. For for one night, I manage to live alone. I thought that I was doing all I could have done. I thought that I could do it. So my forget na mo na. My suggestion just failed me. I didn't have a chill. I'm not some closing remarks now for you. I have my closing remarks and I will tell about it to make it more clear. Daba na for one night, I na ega be fuf. Daba na I never thought that you would go to that level. You gonna hear? Honestly. It was something uh, very sad. I was very much disappointed in that. That's what I can see for now. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sambo. We'll make you or allow you to make your f concluding remarks up to Commissioner Carr. He's got a supplementary question. He says, Commissioner Carr, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Chairman. <coughs> Mr. Sambu, there is something you mentioned here that you've told the Commission, which is that you are a passive participant in the investigations of the 2006 coup. Why don't, what I don't understand is when it suddenly became necessary for you to go and inform the President with the other two service chiefs, you were willing to go. So I don't seem to be able to balance the two. Mr. Ka. Mr. Ka. I already said, yeah, we were three. Uh, it would have been very difficult for me to withdraw from that tree, tree something. And do otherwise. The situation was not tenable. I was walking on very serious ground. Slippery ground. Jamano bo kami nizal, mai don dok surata. I have to be very careful. Cepat mawar bayi hel. So you sing along the tune. Fok serangga anda si wewi. If not, there will be danger. So look on my right, danga am aite keter. Thank you very much. I mean, you may now proceed, then, Mr. Sambu, to make your concluding remarks on your own behalf, not on behalf of the other two blind mice. Please go ahead and make your remarks. Uh, I don't know what I have my reply here. I, I must seem to have misplaced it. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, members of this August Commission, at Ninga Hamnini, you are Kilifa Yaka Commission B, Mr. Lead Council, Kilifa Ginga Hamnini, Mojite, Loya Nekfi, Chi, Miri Commission B, Lead Council, please permit me first of all, Mange Sakunangin Mema, to offer a moment of silence, eh, Madefna Abdil Bugat, for the repose of all those who fell during uh, Jamez Hashri, including the late Solo Sanding. And of recent, I had lead council lost his some parents, relatives, parents. My sincere condolence. May their soul rest, souls rest in perfect peace. 
Today's day is one day I have long yearned for. Today, the busy day, be nak nak na bis boh hamne ni yagon na di ko mibet di ko gint. And I'm not only very glad, ne correct na dama kontan, but privileged. Why nak am chir to have been accorded ne joh na ma jotai the opportunity abunta boh hamne ni to sit in front of you te putok na jakar logien to tell my own story. Pero wah nak linga hamne ni mo isma ijar jar. In accepting to work at the National Intelligence Agency, little did I know how challenging and demanding it would be. I saw you met it at Niga Hamedal Nola Ajo. I service you Hamne Luni Daula. Contrary to what prevailed at the former National Security Service, the law Hamne Ni Ute Na Ak Bunta Binyo Hamne National Security Service under the First Republic of Sadao Da Kairaba Jawara. Si Ngur Kunja Kenya Hamne Ni Unga Kontiron Sadao Da Jawara. Things turned out to be completely different. Mbir Minak Dal Di Ona Indi Amwe Cheku We Cheku. As the old English adage says, Echi Lebu Bo Hamne Lebu Laka Lama Angalela. Power corrupts absolute. Power corrupts absolutely. Dole dana de indi ay ger tayo tama ng gine yoko sa gine yatal gerit. I along with some of my colleagues. Man at niyan niya kami sumay na wala lang yon. Was carried away by the wind of power drunkenness. Yun nada niyo yuba le on rekong get dole jinga kami ni yung chion. Under the whims and caprices of a dictator. Chi linga kami ni mo na kahalat at neha i ko kami ni ngura jay dole rek la fidan dohe. The events that took place at the NIA. Kau kau yang kami ni mahu kau nanti NIA bi. As recounted by various witnesses. Lo kami ni nanti lina kau filu beri di IC ada ufitau. Confirmed that it was transformed. Dal di on digel nak ni dan kual beti on. From an intelligence gathering institution. Di bule buah kami ni dan faedah jale aimbut ailu luin kerawu. To a torture chamber. Def kau nabi buah kami nabi buka lekaila. At the behest of the former president and commander in chief of the Gambia Armed Forces. Chilinga hamne ni ni hana akita men diga lo hamne ni kena lo on dingi tiriu his excellency ya jame. The amount of suffering and pain. Oh the the meti chilinga hamne ni nekan amnava. Meted out on victims and their families. Yo hamne ni tekna inko chilinga hamne ni nyomla infatoro kan accident inja what? Was great and immeasurable. Nekan lo hamne ni dal kamu inda yu binum tolo. Over the years, on the orders of one man. Lep si Ben ada bersin di galau kami mengutuk si Ben ini. Ya jame. Dia jame. This situation can only be described. Lihat jaman Allah buah kami ini kau mana ler, ini kau mana tu demo ini. As regrettable. Allah kami ini agree cerdik lain si mana ame. And for this, si kau lulu, I wish to express my heart, wholehearted and sincere apologies. Mange agalah semua jigalu si. To the Gambian populace. Si Gam ni ni dekai si Rewi Gambia. And in particular, all those affected victims, and their families. It is easier to forgive than forget. But the old English adage again says, to err is human, but to forgive is divine. As a senior civil servant, I thought and believed that I was working for the president and commander in chief of the day. The government of the day. My duty was to be committed and loyal. Little did I know that everything would be so personalized and centralized with others, with orders, orders coming direct from the state house. The department was not independent enough. Bunta bi na ine kuto loa kama ni dafata hawa lon bopa mrek to perform its rightful duties. Pudef na gligi bilinga kama ni mumla insentu chimom and became derailed. Tete men muneka added to that. Yoku chaje tete men ne the frequent changing of director generals. Wechi ku wechi ku inga kama ni yuko damti bopu inga kama ni yuko jite on tushur ni ge neki indikenen. Rendered the institution weak and inconsistent in leadership. Nasahlo na lol ebuntu ligeka ebu bunono akchilinga kama mungu ajusi nwa lingiria. 
the right criteria and qualifications were overlooked in their appointments. Kinship and loyalty were the order of the day. The end results we all know. The end results we all know. I am inclined to admit that. Following my directorship. That of the late Mamadou Keba Jalopa. The king of the Mondem Sail of Mamadou Keba Jalopa. And the late Ben Jame. A king of the Mondem Sail like Ben Jame. All hell broke loose at the NIA. They did a, 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 a very big NIA men in the Takar Nase. Needless to say, all three of us were university graduates. Were university graduate and tended to professionalize things. Without success. Thanks to the interference of President Jame. There was a time when the Swiss and the Senegalese took the NIA as reference. In the West Africa sub region. In just four years of existence. But alas, in a personal meeting with Barack Obama's former Under Secretary for Africa, the Secretary of Africa, Johnny Carson, Johnny Carson. During a 10-day Defense Department sponsored seminar in Portugal, Lisbon, back in 2010, Lisbon, Portugal, I raised U.S. Gambian relations. What he told me was, President Obama wanted strong institutions in Africa. President Obama began to look at the diversity of Africa, and not strong men. And why not do it? I go to dig it. A direct reference to President Jame. Hello, nak nak na loa kham neni mungko jema le si President Jame. The advent of the new Barrow dispensation in 2016. Linga kham neni moi ingura Barrow ti kumas mam cha atun 2016. Awakened all of us, including my good self. The yearning of a new dawn in the Gambia. Hovered over people like me out in exile in Senegal and abroad. I spent four wasteful years and useful, wasteful and useless years in Dakar, Senegal. As an asylum seeker, having to run for my life, like hundreds of others, poor and helpless Gambians. From your James brutal and tyrannic regime. United in fear and yet divided by distrust. Gambian refugees in Senegal. Refugees Senegal. Struggle daily for survival, not knowing what lay in store for them the next day. The UNHCR. Red tape. Red tape. Red tape. All due respect to them. Was incapable of coming to our daily needs. Especially for the homeless. 
rawati na nyinga xamne ni amuñ dekk way di on skilled nyinga xamne ni amuñ metier and on educated nyinga xamne ni amuñ jang mu doy in a hostile dakar environment ci dakar di dew ci nekkin bo xamne bu metier la yet ya james elite killer commandos yet be legi temen ya jamme nyinga xamne ni ñom la daan ebal ndaw mi nga ko daan reyal permanently roam the streets of dakar say bu nek rek ñu ngay dox ci mbeddi dakar yi and other senegalese localities te yenen berew yi nga xam ñoo nek ci senegal to kidnap or eliminate prospective enemies ngir ray wala japp ñi nga xam ne ni ñoy daw la daw ñi daw nonu on senegalese soil ci soufi senegal my sincere and deepest gratitude eh suma ngeet maté nak to the very politically mature government of makissal eh ci den makissal bu govern nguris makissal go xam ne ni gu match la ci politique for their eagle eyes eagles eye watch and protection et ci ni nga xamé dal non lañ dan gëna bayé xel of all of us gambian refugees in senegal lu jëm ci suñu karangé ñun ni nga xamné ay daw la kuy gambian lay nek ci réew senegal i for one man ci suma bopu i'm very grateful man nak sante na for the particular vip cover et ci terrain nga gi nga xamné ni dalal defal nañ mako ci ak tangay and protection ak karangé offered me eu yi ma joxon during my stay in senegal si suma jamono jotaay ci rewi senegal on the home front e ci bir keer gi ci bir fi i whole heartedly welcome dal ma nga rafet luy temen bu baax the advent of the baro coalition led government e di di nguri president baro gi nga xamne ni nguura manko gi nga xamne mo ko jité won in 2016 ci atum 2016 this is the best relief li nak moy li nga xamne mo gëna sédal bop any progressive gambian kep gambian bo xamne ni mu ngay xentu lu jëm ci yokuté could have dreamt of mo xamne ni mu nga ko gënt alhamdullilah alhamdullilah i pray that allah the almighty ma ngay ñaan ci borom bi subhanahu wa ta'ala grand president baro mu may president baro the fortitude eh eh qali mu karangé and will ak ina to succeed with all his programs within the framework of his ndp mu sotal nak ak lepp li nga xamne ni mu ngi aju ci mebeti yokute yi nga xamne ni def nako am nako we all remember how the christian community gambian christian community ñu ñep xamne ni gambian christian community bi in its modest way e ci seen anam ngi tali gi contributed immensely ñu jakk yaatale seen ndolal ñom itamen towards the success of the removal and removal of dictator ya jamme in december 2016 ci ning sotale genne fi ya jamme ci atum 2016 who was brought up by a christian foster family nga xamne mom ñu ko yar nak ci njobota christian we have had national days of prayer dañ daan am ay fan yo xamne ni ñu ngi doon ñaan ci rewmi for the removal of jamme pour nak ñu genne fi ya jamme and the peaceful transition of the new dispensation respectively ak tamen djebalam ngur go xamne ni dañ ko jaarale ci jamm and we will continue to pray for our beloved country the gambia te dañu continuer di ñaanal nak suñu jamm gi jam gambia gi nga xamne ñung ko amal ciofal suñu bop the word secular baat bi ñu waxe secular eluded us despite our expressed concern ya xal nañu nak ak li nga xamne tamen soxal nañu to the constitutional review commission e ci wéccé ko wéccé gi nga xamné ni amna ci wali commission bu owing to a misrepresentation and misinterpretation of the word by some local socio religious organizations mr sambo i think we are going beyond the purpose of this uh, okay uh, closing remarks. mr chairman i apologize mr chairman please allow me to express my deepest uh, concern for the youth of this country Mr Chairman may ma ma agales li nga xamne moy suma xol ci li nga xamne ni soxal na ma ci rew mi I would appeal to government dana d'appel nak ci nguur gi sakku ci nguur gi you look into youth education and employment ñu bayyi xel nak ci li nga xamne mu ngi aju nak ci wali njang ndaw yi ak seen buntu liggey kay may also kindly appeal to our local political leaders na djegul sakku yi tamen ci ñi nga xamne suñu khalifa lañ ci wali politique bi to exercise tolerance and political maturity in their quest for the highest office in this land ñu dugal masla ak mu ñalanté ci ci xentu bi nga xamne ñu ko xentu lu jëm ci seen buntu politique the gambia is a melting pot e gambia nak nek na bëre bo xamne ni and we are all related ñun ñep dañ bokk and the country belongs to all of us te rew mi ci ñun ñep la ñun ñep ko bokk unity is strength e ben non nak moy dole i wish to finally thank all friends and relatives ci may mujje nak moy damay gërem nak xarité ak mbokk yépp home and abroad ñu nekk fi ci réew mi ak ci bitim réew particularly my wife and 
immediate family. Rawati no suma jabar ak suma njabot gi. My mother teacher gine sambu. Suma yaay gine sambu. And all for all the support during my trying times. Ak timbolem dimbal bo hamne def na imko si jamo no suma tolof tolof. And to abol apologize once again. Di jigalu ite men beren yon. To all Gambians. I Gambian ti yep. Any wrongdoing. Chile punya utef bo hamne ni def na imko. Ever. Through this August Commission, I am sincerely sorry. I would like to make some recommendations. One that measures are included. The new draft constitution. The for the protection of public servants who refuse to carry out illegal orders just like in the recently passed to also that proper and adequate measures are also included in the draft constitution for the subjugation of the armed and security forces to the democratically elected civilian government of the day. So as to discourage the culture of immunity. impunity. Impunity. New nak li nga xamné ni moy ada def dara té kén dool tula ci top dara rek mu jeex nuna. Long live the Gambia. Ngé ñaanal li Gambia. I thank you for your kind attention. Dem na lén lool ci sen téway bu rafet. Thank you very much indeed them uh, Mr. Sambo for your uh, very lucid and concluding remarks. Um, thank you again, again for coming to testify before the commission. Council, I believe we have um, uh, some exhibits um, uh, uh, submitted. Uh, yes, three, with those. three exhibits. Uh, the Amnesty International Report of 2nd December 1997 should be exhibit 191 and uh, the minutes minutes minute seat minute 24 uh, of a uh, letter emanating from uh, Harry P F Sambu of 24th October 2012 and uh, subsequently minuted to by uh, his excellency the president Al Haji AJJ Jabbe should be exhibit 191A yeah, as in Apple? Yes. And uh, 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 Exhibit 191B is also another minute uh, from His Excellency the President responding to uh, a minute of a senior, of a principal assistant secretary from Ministry of Defense to be Exhibit 191B. Thank you very much, um, uh, Council. Again, Mr. Sambu, thank you again for coming to testify before the Commission. Uh, Mr. Council, Chair, Mr. Yes, yes, no. Mr. Sambu has provided his dismissal, uh, uh, well, the letters terminating his appointment uh, or under uh, his, that of 9, 2006, and uh, that of uh, 2013 and that of 2018, he, that is the commutation of his dismissal to, to, to termination. Uh, the only issue is that uh, we are not dealing with terminations. Uh, so the commission can receive it or can give them back to Mr. Sambu because we are not dealing with this particular issue. Yeah. But I leave that to you. The only reason why we need to look at it is um, if he's referenced um, uh, those um, terminations or those notes in his uh, statement. Yes. If they are referenced in his statement, yeah. we can uh, give them exhibit numbers. They are referenced in his testimony. Splendid. Let's go ahead and then okay. give that them numbers. That should be uh, the 2006 letter, uh, 10th November 2006, should be exhibit 191C. And the letter of uh, 28 January 2013 informing him of a dismissal 
would be exhibit uh, 191D and uh, the commutation of uh, the dismissal to termination should be exhibit 191E. That completes some. Uh, uh, yes. Thank you so much, Mr. Council. Um, and uh, this brings us to the end of our proceedings for this evening. We will resume tomorrow morning, uh, sharp 10 o'clock. Meetings adjourned. Thank you all very much.